Howdy folks. In today's video, we are going to be discussing one of our jobs, mining. Mining is not only an awesome way to acquire income, but also acquire certain materials utilized in our crafting system. See our crafting guide video at a later time. In order to mine successfully, we're obviously going to need a pickaxe. Pickaxes can be acquired in our general stores, and those are also indicated on the map. We are here in Saint Denis. Let's buy a pickaxe. We're going to walk up to the counter, open our store, and there it is right there. The pickaxe for $1. We're going to hit enter. We only need one. Make sure that quantity is entered correctly there, and then confirm. You'll see the cost on the right hand side as well as the confirmation that a pickaxe has been added to your inventory. We're going to access our inventory to double check that utilizing the B key. And there it is. Now that we have acquired our pickaxe, let's take a look at our map to find one of our designated mining areas. On the map, you will see many, many different icons that indicate different things. But what we are looking for is this icon right here. This is one of our designated mining areas and you will see quite a variety of them spread out across the entirety of the map. Each individual mining area has the possibility of having different materials gained. Bear that in mind. So we're going to travel up here to Annisburg and check out this particular mine. Here we are at one of the Annisburg mining areas. Let's walk in and see what we can find. Once you have arrived to the designated mining area indicated on your map, it is time to equip our pickaxe so we can see the specific locations in which we can mine. Access your inventory using the B key, and then double click your pickaxe to use it. As you can see, as soon as we equipped our pickaxe, these yellow indicators popped up, indicating the areas in which we can mine specifically. We're going to approach one, and then you will see the option to either put away your pickaxe using the B key, or work utilizing the spacebar. When you hit the spacebar, you're going to see the mining animation take place. As soon as this animation is concluded, you will receive your material. We have collected a rock. To confirm what you've collected, put away your pickaxe by using B, then hit B again to open up your inventory, and you will see the rock that you've collected. Now, other items that can be collected in mining are as follows. Gold, silver, rubies, emeralds, diamonds, copper, and iron. These items can be taken to individual places and be exchanged for income or also utilized for crafting. If you have acquired iron ore, copper ore, or various rocks from mining, you can sell them here at the mining shop. We are here at the location that is inside of Annisburg. Let's check it out. We'll walk up the stairs and go inside the building. And inside we will find an NPC who will allow us access of the mining shop. Open up the shop and you will see that this NPC sells the rocks, iron ore, and copper ore for crafting purposes. Or by utilizing the Q and E, you can tab over to the sell menu. In order to sell the materials you have gained, simply hit enter and input the quantity you wish to sell. So we're going to sell our four rock, two iron ore, and one copper. Input the numeric value, hit confirm. On the right hand side, as you saw, you will see the items taken away from your inventory and the money in which you were given gained acquired more of the rare items that can be acquired when mining, you will need to sell them at the gold exchange. Gold exchanges can be found within the banks of Blackwater and here at Saint Denis. Let's check it out. We will access the gold exchange once again by hitting our G key. Once inside we will see that the individual sells emeralds, diamonds, silver ore, and gold nuggets as well as rubies if they're available. However, we are here to sell. So once again, tab using Q or E to the sell menu. Here we can sell the rubies and diamonds that we gathered earlier. Once again, hit enter, insert the quantity, and then confirm that you want to sell them. 
We were given $12, and the two rubies were depleted from our inventory. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much for watching our mining guide. If you have any other further questions or concerns, as always, please feel free to utilize our community support system or open a support ticket within our Discord. Until next time, take care.